गुड मॉर्निंग सो इस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लॉक यू नो जस्ट यू रिमेम्बर वन सेकेंड सो नो क्लॉक इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर क्लॉक क्लॉक इज अ अट्रैक्टिव कलर नो क्लॉक इज अ अट्रैक्टिव कलर the flowers have in different colors you know like a uh, rose or pink color you know or yellow color you know so the flowers have in, have in the different colors of petals so and the flowers have the three main parts what are the main parts one is the sepals you know one is nothing but it's a sepals you know so this region you know so this region which was this is the great region you know so this is a sepals you know and the next one petal next one petals you know the green color parts you know like the this green color part is known as sepals okay what the flowers are in the four main parts the sepals sepals is almost in the green color sepals is almost in the green color and next one petals the next one petals so this is your this is your what this is your sepals this is for sepals this almost the sepals is look like in green color okay and next part petals okay what the next part petals so this is called the petals the petals have the different colors of your petals the flowers have the different colors of your petals okay and next to part stamen so the petals color may be is a different okay wow may be is a different colors the different flowers are in the different colors and stamen okay wow the stamen is nothing but you know the when you are seeing the stamen the when you are separate that sepals and petals when we are separate the petals and sepals so then only we will find out the stamen you know this region is known as called what stamen okay what the stamen is a main repetitive part you know the stamen is a main repetitive part as well as the stamen the stamen is made up of the two parts one is a anther one is a anther and next one is a plumet and next one is a plumet okay ma the stamen is a male repetitive part the stamen is made up of the two major parts one is a anther and next one is plumet one is anther and next one is plumet so this is a stamen so the inside the stamen so we have the anther and the plumet you know so this is the anther okay ma this is anther This is a pollen. This is a pollen. And next one, the pistil. The next part is a pistil. It's a female repetitive part of the flower. Okay, but next one is a pistil. Okay, but the pistil is made up of the three major parts. One is the stem and stigma and ovary. And stigma and ovary. You know, so in this session, okay, ma. So this is the part of your flower. Okay, this is the part of your flower. So the pistil is is a female reproductive part of your flower. Pistil is a female reproductive part of your flower. The pistil is made up of or the pistil have the three main parts. One is the stem, and next one is the stem, and the third one is the ovary. Okay, so in this section we will discuss about ovary. Okay, but in this section we will discuss about ovary. Okay, but 
but in this session we will discuss about ovary you know the where will present that ovary where will present that ovary you know inside that testicle where will present that ovary so ovary so this is the stigma so no value present that inside that testicle okay ba inside that testicle you know the ovary will nothing but it is a lower most and swollen parts of the testicle okay ba so ovary will nothing but it is a lower most it is a lower most and swollen and swollen parts of the pistil parts of the pistil that is what is called what the ovary this is very important one more question okay ma so the ovary is nothing but the lower most and swollen parts of the pistil lower most and the swollen parts of the pistil so this region okay ma so so where will present that ovary the ovary is present in lower most and swollen parts of the pistil lower most and swollen parts of the pistil that is called what that is called ovary that is called what ovary so okay what so this is the ovary this is the ovary okay what and now we will study about ovary now we will study about ovary okay ba so we have take the different kinds of flower in the different ovary okay ba so now we will take in the different flower then we will cut carefully now we will observe the ovary in the different flower okay ba so take two ovaries from the different flower first you take the two ovaries from in the different flower okay ba any flower then you cut the first you cut the longitude and transfer first you cut the longitude cut okay ba so there this is the ovary okay ba so this is your ovary this part so first you cut the Longitude, then you cut the transfer cut. Okay, ba. Next, figure the seven point twenty five. You know, then prevent them from drying. Okay, ba. First, you cut the ovary skin, longitude and transfer, and prevent them drying. Then what you do? You apply the water on the ovaries. You apply the water on the ovaries. Okay. Next, observe the next. What we do now? We will cut the ovary. Okay, ba. Next, observe the inner part of the ovary. Now, observe the inner part of the ovary. Okay. The, did you see some? Okay, ba. Now we will find out. Okay, ba. Now we will observe the inner part of the ovary. Okay. Do you see some small bead-like structure? What you see? You see some small bead-like bead-like structure inside the ovary. Okay, ba. What you see? Like the small bead, the small bead-like structure. Okay, ba. What you see? Like small bead-like structure, bead-like structure, bead-like structure. Inside that ovary, inside that ovary, inside that ovary, that is called what? Ovulus. That is called what? Ovulus. So that is a very important one more question. Okay, ma. So ovulus means what? You know, when you are seeing that ovulus, when we are cut that ovary, you no, know, when we are cut that ovary, you know. This part, you know, when you are cut that ovary, so generally we will find out or generally we will see that ovulus. Okay, ma? So ovulus means nothing but the small bead-like structure, small bead-like structure inside that ovary that is called ovulus. It is called what? Ovulus. Okay. Next, then you observe that ovulus. Then you. 
droid. Okay. And so that is about that ovary. Okay, ma'am. That is about that ovary. The nothing but what is ovary mean? Nothing but it is a lower most and solid part of the pistil that is called ovary. It is called what? Ovary. Okay. And ovaries. You know, when you are saying that ovaries, when you are that that ovaries. Now, my upper ovary is cut from the most like that. We will get that longitude cut and transfer cut. So then we can absorb that magnetic glass. So then we will find out that the small bead-like structure is inside the ovary that is called ovaries. That is called what? Ovaries. Okay, ma. So that is our ovary. And next, on your field trip, you know, in our school, we will. Events in the field, we will see the different kinds of plants or flowers, isn't it? So definitely the flowers having the different color, not in same color. You know, like that pink color or blue color or red color or yellow color flower also we have seen in our lives. We give up. We can see the different colors of flowers as well as we have seen in the different types of plant itself. We give up. Now, don't pick the flower. Don't pick the flower. Just you pick the flower and don't pick that much of flower. We give up. How much of flower? How much of flower is needed? So you pick the particular flower only. Now, don't pick the much of flower. We give up. Then you observe. What you observe? Did you find out that all the flowers is same in shape and size? No, definitely the flower size will be different from one flower to another flower. You know, and we are also ask some questions. You know, do all flowers have sepals, petals, stamen, and pistil? You know, do all flowers do all flowers have the sepals, petals, stamen, or pistil? Or there are flowers that do not have any of these? Or the flower that do not have any of them, or the flowers which have part of other than this. Next one, did you find any flowers which have sepals or petals that look similar? So first you what you have first you take any one flower. First you take any one flower. You observe. Okay, ma. Then you what you do? Then you observe. What do you observe? You will observe that first. What do you observe? The first you observe the sepals. Next petal. Next stamen. And next ovary. You give up. So did you find that any flowers which have the petals and sepals or look like in similar? The similar means the both are equal size or not? That is equal? No. And do you find that any flower in which the number of sepals is different from the number of petals? So the flower having that how many petals or how many sepals? So do you agree that the structure of the flower is not always the same? It is very important. Okay, ma. Do you agree that statement? Okay, ma. Because the structure of flower is not always the Same. Already told you know the shape of the structure will be different from one flower to another flower. Isn't it? And the number of petals or sepals or stamens or pistil may also is different from one flower to another flower. This is a very very important point. Okay. The first one, the flower shape and size or shape and structure may be different from one flower to another flower. Okay, ma. Over the bow, over the same layer, same and size layer. It's not the equal size. Okay, ma. It's always different, not in same size. And the flowers, all flowers having in that same kinds of petals, sepals, or stamens or pistil. No. So it is a different. It is a different from one flower to another flower. It is a different from one flower to another flower. Okay, ma. Sometimes flowers 
आचन साफ स्टेमेंट साफ पेटेंस ओके बस समटाइम्स द फ्लॉस आमिंग द आचन ऑफ एनी पार्ट ऑफ और एनी पार्ट ऑफ योर फ्लॉस द समटाइम्स द फ्लॉस आचन साफ स्टेमेंट और समटाइम्स द फ्लॉस आचन समटाइम्स फ्लॉस आचन साफ स्टेम और एनी वन एक्शन सो दिस वे द फ्लॉस इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू टाइप वन इज अ कंप्लीट फ्लॉस एंड अनदर वन इज अ कंप्लीट और इनकंप्लीट what is a complete flaw another one incomplete flaw incomplete flaw okay ba what is a complete flaw and another one is the incomplete flaw you know there is a one more question so the complete flaw being the flaws having all parts like that the flaws having you know the flaws having that stepwise and petals stamen and pistil the flaws having that all parts like stepwise petals stamen and pistil this flaws is known as called the complete flaws so that is the flaws look like is complete okay we sepals petals stamens or pistil we keep up is not in the other flower of complete flower i got this one so that is a complete flower and incomplete flower the incomplete flower mean any one part of the flower is absent any one part of the flower is absent is absent that is very important like maybe stamens or pistil any one absent okay what so that flower is known as called the incomplete flower that flower is known as called what incomplete flower so flower having that two types of flower is there what is a complete flower and another one is incomplete flower so the complete flower means the flowers have the all parts of the flower right the flowers having that sepals petals stamens or pistil that is known as the complete flower that is known as complete flower and incomplete flower means the flower the any one part of the flower is absent okay ma maybe like the stamens or pistils okay ma maybe absent that is called the incomplete flower that is called what incomplete flower Have you understood? So that lesson, the lesson seven, you know, getting to know plants. That lesson over. Okay. In this lesson, you have learn about the types of plants. Just you remember, you know, types of plants like those shrubs and herbs, shrubs and shrubs, and like flowers and grapes also. And that's part of the plants. In this section, we will learn about the structure of root and leaves and stem, okay, and flower, and the function of the plant, like the function of stems and leaves and flowers and root itself. Okay, what? And then finally, we will learn about the flower. The flower is a very important part. That is the plants do not have any flower means that is the no reproduction. Okay, ma. The flowers having that root or stem or leaves that is very important. Everything is very important. But the flower is a very very important because of that reproduction. Okay, ma. Because of that reproduction, the plants the flowers is a very important part of the plant because of the reproduction purpose. Okay, ma. In this session, we will know about the flower. Okay, ma. In our third class, we will discuss about the function of flower. Okay, ma. We will learn about in third class. Okay, ma. Okay, friends. Thanks.